Hello there, the uh, machine that you can see behind me is the, uh, the 1976 RG500 Suzuki racing machine with codename XR14 that Barry Sheen rode. The machine actually won four Grand Prix in 1976. Uh, the actual machine it, it played a very key part in him becoming world champion. I was fortunate enough to work with Team Suzuki and then with Barry and was a mechanic for part of that time uh, working on this machine and now I'm in the very fortunate position of being able to restore it some 42 years after it was actually made. Unfortunately standing still for we'd say 40 of those 42 years has not rendered the machine in a very good light. We are going to restore it and we're going to be able to do that by using parts actually from the classic parts Suzuki range which some engine components are still available as they were actually made and incorporated into the road going RG500. Uh, the main area that we'll be concerned with are the magnesium crankcases, carburetors and other components that are magnesium but we've also know that the oil seals throughout the engine uh, brake system are all, have also failed just due to ultraviolet contamination by the sun. But the whole machine was going to be disassembled completely and taken apart and restored into a running condition. Okay, we've um, just taken the engine out of the uh, chassis in a matter of 20, 20 minutes or 40 minutes in total to mark the parts. But already when we were draining out the gearbox oil we realised that had been uh, polluted by basically the radiator water as we thought. We saved the gearbox oil or emulsion as we call it. Uh, and the engine has basically suffered from um, corrosion if we look at the water outlet pipe which again is from the water pump area. A third of that has just corroded away, which is, isn't bad in itself, but it means the crankcases internally may have suffered similar damage, but we'll see when we actually take the engine apart. It's a three split crankcase, so we started at the top, which is removal of the cylinder heads, the cylinders, then onto the upper crankcase, which removing that reveals the crankshafts um, and the actual layout of the engine. We then turn the engine over to remove the, lo the lower section which contains the gearbox and the water pump. That is where we began to pick up the damage that we'd seen of the corrosion as water had been left in it over a period of, we don't really know, maybe 10, 12 years. Uh, it's not significant, it is quite bad, but we should be able to, like I said, repair the crankcases and get those back into a good working order. Overall, looking at the various components, the rotary valves, the ignition system, the water pump, they are perfectly serviceable. Uh, the interesting point on the engine is, well, it used to have an oil pump on it, which is still flanked off an aluminium plate. But other than that, for an, a machine that's 42 years old, it's in remarkable good condition, engine-wise. Chassis-wise, that's quite easy to fix, and we'll run through that later on. Well, here we are on day two of the uh, restoration of uh, Barry Sheen's 1976 World Championship winning bike. Uh, yesterday we took the engine completely apart, which is behind me. We took a few components off the chassis just to now enable the engine to be removed, but today uh, we've now completely disassembled the chassis. As you can see, the chassis is behind me. Surprisingly, as the chassis is steel, um, there's no corrosion whatsoever on it and most of the other components are corrosion free, being that they're not magnesium, which is what our fear was with the engine. During the disassembly of the chassis, the left hand footrest seemed quite difficult to remove, but what we found out after basically using heat to remove it, this bike at one time, Barry had slid off it, and because of the way the footrest boss is mounted the frame, it would automatically break which is what had happened here, and the frame becomes useless on Grand Prix racing. We'd have to fit a new frame overnight. But on this one, we did a repair during the racing history of this bike. Uh, but that was the reason why we had to use heat to re remove the left-hand footrest boss. We've uh, taken disassembled the front forks. Uh, everything looks okay inside there. Obviously, they'll be clean, re-shimmed re and revalved to standard, not anything different. Um, and a, a, just a restoration work will be done on the front forks, the rear suspension units will be the same, um, cleaning, not revalving on the rear suspension because it's sealed unit, but the main area for us will be the brakes, uh, front and rear, complete overhaul, 
new seals, new pads, everything clean, new piston seal kits, which we can still get. Classic parts, we'll be able to supply those. And then we'll just give, the exhaust will be given a thorough clean, new packing for the silencers. Uh, the wheels will be disassembled, tyres removed, because these tyres now are literally more than 40 years old, they're unusable. But mainly when we get the tyres off the wheels, we're going to have both wheels crack tested and checked for trueness. Um, and then we'll just go, we'll begin the reassembly when we've cleaned all the parts up.